In this video, I'll be showing you how I created an environment in Unreal Engine using a great asset that is currently available for free. In the next video, I'll be modeling a cabin in Blender and inserting it into this landscape. So stay tuned and thank you for all the subs and likes. I began by creating a new third-person project and an empty open world level. I then added standard lighting and landscape and the procedural biomes asset. From the asset, I chose the Mediterranean biome and applied the Mediterranean landscape material to all the tiles. To create the mountains, I had to enable the Landmass plugin, restart my PC and reload the hidden tiles in the World Partition window. In the landscape mode, I selected Blueprint, created a new layer for the mountains and selected the custom brush landmass. By clicking on the ground, I added the first landmass and modified its shape by adding control points with a right click. In the details window, I modified the fall off, blurring, curl noise and displacement. Next, I added another landmass and changed the blend mode to additive to integrate it with the first one. My goal was to create two layers of mountains and some room to add a lake. I used a simple surface to simulate the lake, adjusted the mountains and applied the lake material of the asset to the surface. For a different effect, I modified the parameters of the water, such as waves and color. I created another landmass and enabled the cup shape to make a flat terrain where I'll place the cabin in the next video. I then adjusted the mountains. Next, I added some background meshes and removed their collision. I also removed the collision from the lake surface. In landscape mode, I painted the grass and in foliage mode, I added some trees and rocks. I then adjusted the water properties again, particularly the color. I painted a path and an area for my cabin with the ground material. To continue the path on the mountain, I sculpted a sort of terrace on another layer and made adjustments with the flatten, smooth erosion and sculpt tools.
After some other adjustments, I added a camera actor, selected cinematic viewport, and enabled the grid to help center the view. I started to modify the lighting, but I wasn't satisfied with the view, so I created another camera actor on the other side of the lake, enabled volumetric fog, added a post-process volume, and made the final adjustments. I then took a high resolution screenshot of the final result. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll be modeling a cabin in Blender and adding it to this environment. Let me know in the comments how to improve the lighting or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.